Okay, we're going to create a solid model using sweep for chapter 8, uh, tutorial 1. Okay, we're going to start with the uh, chapter 8 dash tutorial 1. Okay, and ready to go. Let's uh, create the datum plane and we're going to go to sweep and then we go to sketch, sketch, and then we click on the front view, sketch, sketch view. So we're going to remove the plane and then we put this there is no no need for the center line but we can always use center line as a reference okay so we can do that all right so first we're going to create a circle and that circle has a uh, radius of 26 right a radius of 26 so we're going to enter 26 then we're going to trim this piece this piece and that piece so now we're gonna go check and then we go to this command here resumes the previously pause tools then we click on this pencil and then we say sketch view now we can create a circle with a diameter of 29 29 right 29 and then we say check so now that we have the check we can just click on shell we can click on that surface and control that surface and then we have a thickness of four right we have a thickness of four for the pipe and then we say check so this is our pipe all right to create the second feature on this surface or let me see what the plane Okay, where that plane is so on this plane uh, called right right plane maybe we can place it on right plane so we say extrude and then on that plane we can create we can give a references okay that's better now so I'm going to create a center line that goes through the center of that and the center line that is going to have the uh, the origin okay the origin and this is I, I believe it's nicely done or there's an overlap let me turn off the plane so that we can see it better okay okay so we're gonna create a rectangle which we have symmetrical and that should be uh, 36 by uh, 36 okay 36 by 36 okay I think that is symmetrical I believe that's that's good so we say check and the thickness is uh, 5 okay great now let me extrude placement defined on this surface and then we say and a sketch view if I go to references it's not giving me the okay there's no center point there okay let me see if I can find the uh, uh, the center of this uh, square so we're gonna go to project put a line temporary line here and there and then we say that's a midpoint and that's a midpoint and then if you dimension that from uh, for here is going to be 36 and here is 36 so so if you dimension to make sure that it's 36 it is 36 okay and do all right so we're going to create a circle a dead center and that diameter is 21 21 enter and let me trim this so we can and then check that and that should be and it, it should go in a depth of 5 and we're gonna just go in opposite direction of the arrow Okay. Uh, 
But that's the way it is, right? I think that's the system is set up that way, so that's good. And then we go extrude, placement, define. We can click on this surface, sketch, and sketch view. So we're going to put the reference line, okay, right there. So we have a x and y axis. So we can create a rectangle, a rectangular shape. Uh, let's see if we can uh, let me start from somewhere here. Okay, so we have the symmetrical with respect to x and y axis. So uh, now I think it's good to go. One more time. One more time because the mouse is really funky. All right, so and if you look at this here, I think it's symmetrical in both ways, okay? So this is 36, and enter. This is also 36, right? And there we go. That's what we have, okay? And then we're gonna check it, and then we go the thickness is five, and then opposite direction, and then we check. Okay, so this is what we have. Maybe this is too small. You can see that. Maybe that, that's based on given information we've used that. Yeah. Uh, maybe the measurement is off a little bit. Yeah, it seems a little short. Short, right? This is a little bit short. Um, I think it might just be the picture because right here it's pretty close. It's close, yeah. Maybe the picture, okay. But this is the important thing that this is the process of creating these flanges, okay. And then you do the same thing in here. You go uh, placement, define. You're gonna put a circle on this surface here. And then if I click on references, normally it should give you the, the reference center, but it's not given. So. Um, Again, we have to create a project, and then that's a little bit longer, you know, uh, approach. But that's the way it is sometimes. You just you have to find the reference point, and then you create a circle with a diameter of 21. And, uh, and you can see that it's a little bit off. See that here? They're a little bit off center. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, maybe due to dimensioning, okay, whatever that dimension was not given correctly. So this is our um, uh, hole that has to be uh, pushed through this in the opposite direction of this arrow, and that will be checked, okay? All right, so that's what we have. And next we have to create a counterbore hole on the back here. So we're going to create... Uh, a counter bore hole. Let me see if I can use instead of extrude, I'm gonna use the hole tool. I'm gonna drop I'm gonna drop the uh, hole on that surface here on the back. So this will, what's uh, measurement uh, from here to there that measurement should be to locate it's a five by five okay so this is uh, five and this is also uh, five okay and then the done i'm going to go to shape uh, look for the counter board hole and this is here there's the uh, hole diameter and the board diameter is six the board diameter is six and then how deep it is is one and then the uh, this is six. Uh, I think the diameter of the bore and then the diameter of the hole should be three, half of that, and this should be six. Okay, and one, right? Six three one. Yeah, six three one. 
and everything is good to go and we go to the next and that's a counter board now we're gonna pattern that uh, pattern in this direction is uh, let me see it's 26 26 and then we can go to okay and then if you go to pattern in this direction is also uh, 20 uh, 26 26 by 26 okay 26 by 26 so we're gonna get the counter board on all four corners you can see that okay all right so we do the same thing on the back of this one here we go hold tools drop it in here and then we go to shape and uh, uh, same procedure this is three and this is one and this is six okay and then we create okay 5.4 uh, six one three so we can just uh, show that to be five and this is five as well okay five all right okay so we we got it okay so that's the location oops oops trying to zoom in and out and it's just doing that okay so we're gonna check uh, that and then we can just pattern and this direction here is going to be 26 and then on the other direction we're gonna say this is also 26 okay I think I'm done with this a, a solid model using um, a sweep okay and if you want to render that you can just pick a nice color maybe this color here we can just put that in there and then we can put the uh, red color on top and then right there so this is how we can create a, a solid model using sweep okay all right, I think I'm done with this one. We'll see you in another video.